afternoon and welcome to 55 Plus Live. My name's Nick England. And I'm Leela Page. And today is Tuesday, May 18th. Welcome to the show. How are you, Leela? I'm good. good. How are you? I'm doing all right. So uh, what do we got for, our, for May going on here, May 18th? Well, we are celebrating today National Physical Fitness Month. Um, and it's so fitting that May is National Physical Fitness Month because it's been so beautiful yes oh this God, entire yeah. month it hasn't been like crazy hot yes like it was last year um and just sunny and beautiful and people are out um i was at uh you know line dance and uh the fast forward walkers like all of our programs are full for the you know for the um the outdoor programs and fitness programs tai chi is starting to fill um, so I think a lot of people are, are coming out and wanting to get exercise and wanting to be out Absolutely. in the sunshine, which is great because yeah. everyone needs those endorphins. <laughs> for sure. For sure. It's just, it's another sign of this year looking up, I hope. Uh, so the, mm -hmm. very excited for the beautiful weather that we're having. Yeah. Um, so uh, the 55 plus guide came out last week on uh, Thursday. Yay. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, it should be in your email. It should be an e-news that you got for the 55 plus guide. And registration is coming up. When, when is registration? It is May 19th. May 19th. Oh, tomorrow. Perfect. Okay, great. At 10 a.m. It is tomorrow at 10. Yes. So look over the guide online um, because there's a lot more offerings, especially in the um, physical fitness, um, I guess, section. Great. So, So yes, that's exciting. Awesome. And, um, and um, we've got the big, the big, I think, thing that everyone's talking about for May are the cicadas. Oh, the cicadas. The cicadas. Oh, yeah. Um, do you know any, any, like, interesting facts, any fun facts about cicadas? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, well, I know a place you can find fun facts for cicadas. It just so okay. happens that uh, Arlington Parks and Rec Department has a special web page. Uh, it's called Cicadas 101. Uh, we're going to flash that uh, URL up there, and we'll link it in the description. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about cicadas. Oh, I know they come out like every cool. year, every seven years, 17. These are every 17 years, something like Brood that? Brood X yeah. is the 17 years. Oh, that's what they're called? OK. They're, it's Brood X. And um, I, I'm glad you said that about the web page, because yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, I, so cool. I Check guess, it out. Yeah, yeah, if you guys want to learn more, I guess that's the county's, uh, you know, information page yeah. for cicadas, probably how to prepare for them. Yeah. I know we ordered off Amazon, we planted a, a tree. And of course, I'm seeing all these trees and shrubs that mm -hmm. are like covered. Mm -hmm. So I, um, <laughs> I bought one and it's too small. <laughs> so <laughs> right now it's covering the top of the tree which is not going to do anything. Oh, well, good luck to your tree, <laughs> uh, for sure. But yeah, no, the, the nature centers, I know they're doing all sorts of programming around it, so yeah. definitely check that out. Do you, know any, uh, do you know any good cicada songs? Ooh, <laughs> I do not know any good cicada songs, but I know someone who does. Um, Jay Hirschman, in our, um, our open mic online last week, um, he wrote an original song about cicadas, which oh I thought was, was awesome. And, um, and he recorded himself and is going, and we're gonna, um, we're gonna play it for everybody. Yes. So you can enjoy the cicada song. Yeah, all right, here we go. Hi, this is Jay Hirschman. Here's a song I wrote on Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. It's called Cicada Love. The cicadas are coming, tra-la, tra-la. You'll soon hear them humming, tra-la, tra-la. Climbing up trees and just flying around. You'll soon see a billion all over the ground. For 17 years, they just sucked on the roots, growing and waiting to rise as adults, to mate and lay eggs in the branches above, then die from the ecstasy cicada love. 
So don't be surprised if you step on these bugs. It's part of the cycle of cicada love. Their eggs soon will hatch in the treetops, thin shoots, and young will fall down and dig deep to the roots. There they will suckle on tree sap and splurge for 17 years till it's time to emerge. Thank you, Jay. That was awesome. What'd you think? Oh my God. <laughs> I love that. That is perfect. What I a know. great way to start our show. I know. And I just think it's great that he, he you know, he was yeah. like, let me do a song about the cicadas. So. Such an awesome program too. Yes. Uh, so we have a great show coming up. Uh, we of course have the program forecast with Sydney Reed, uh, followed by our front yard interview with Elizabeth uh, and of course, our top five, focusing on our uh, exercise theme this week. Uh, we're talking about favorite ways to exercise. So uh, to get us started off, let's go to Sydney now with the 55 plus program forecast. Thanks, Nick and Leela. I'm Sydney Reed, and I'm here to give you the program forecast for the next two weeks. We've got a lot of great programs, so let's get right into it. Starting on Wednesday the 19th, enjoy the great outdoors in one of the two outdoor programs that we have scheduled. We have 55 plus walks or yarn creations in the park. On Thursday the 20th, the program Leafy Greens will help you to better identify your leafy greens and how to cook them. A Virginia Cooperative Extension agent will demonstrate a variety of flavorful recipes using a variety of greens. On Friday the 21st, there are plenty of fitness programs for you to check out. People like to get their fitness in a variety of different ways, so we try to accommodate that. Try the fun and unique program Kukua African Dance or the more traditional Hatha Yoga. Be aware that these programs are a part of a fee-based series. If you didn't get into this session, be sure to check out with registration to secure a spot for the summer. Going into next week, starting on Monday the 24th, you'll see lots of options. Start your week off right with coffee and great conversation with friends in the program Monday Morning Coffee Meetup. On Tuesday the 25th, Meet with other genealogy enthusiasts to learn more about your family's roots. All done in a fun, friendly atmosphere for sharing information and tools. On Wednesday the 26th, get out and enjoy a fun outdoor concert. In Acoustic Hour in the Park, Phil Rosen and Ed Giervasi will perform songs from the 50s to today. In the event of bad weather, the rain date is Wednesday, June the 2nd. On Thursday the 27th, check out the evening program, Return of the Cicadas. Brood X is back. The periodical cicadas are returning to our region after 16 years in the ground. Join park naturalist Ken Rosenthal to explore this rare and fascinating natural spectacle. Finally, on Friday the 28th, have some fun with some new friends in this energizing virtual game of scavenger hunt in the program Scavenger Hunt. And that's all for the program forecast. And I'm going to kick it back to you, Nick and Leela. Thanks, Sydney. Um, so as you guys can see, we have a lot going on the next two weeks to end the month of May. Um, all those fitness classes uh, that we were talking about, uh, make sure you register online. And um, of course, the cicadas. Uh, uh, Nick mentioned the web page. And we also have Ken Rosenthal. Sydney mentioned is going to be doing a program on cicadas. And I'm very excited about Acoustic Hour in the Park with Ed and Phil. So I hope to see you there. Um, yeah. And what's next? Yeah, so uh, next up we have, uh, as hopefully if you may or may not know, we have a program within our 55 plus program which we call Social 60 Plus Cafe. And this has been an ongoing program. We have three different sites. We have one at Arlington Mill, Walter Reed, and Langston Brown. And mm -hmm. unfortunately when the pandemic like, hit, uh, when we had to close centers, some of those folks lost access to that great program, mm -hmm. uh, which offers like uh, nutrition, uh, transportation, uh, lots of different services uh, right. that uh, folks aren't always have access to. There was uh, an awesome movement right away, right after the program shut down in person, we started doing uh, emergency meal deliveries. Yes. Coordinators went to work doing these packets and uh, reaching out the resources and uh, the phone tree calls, all yes. that's great. And then Kudos. finally, yes. Kudos, 55 plus yeah. staff. But finally, back in March, we were actually able to open up to a limited capacity 
for our Social 60 Plus Cafe mm -hmm. program in person. So okay. real quick, we're going to take a little sneak peek about what's been going on at the, at the center over at Langston Brown, and, uh, and we're going to roll that footage now. Cindy Leva. I am the senior coordinator for the Social 60 Plus Cafe program at Langston Brown Senior Center. Um, two months ago, we opened up with all three centers, Langston, Walter Reed, and Arlington Mill, and we are working together to provide services, uh, the program and the meals for our seniors uh, two days a week. So we have a Tuesday, Thursday group, a Wednesday, Friday group, and each group has 14 people. We um, duplicate the program, so Tuesdays and Wednesdays, the activities are the same. And as for Wednesdays and Friday, Thursdays and Fridays as well, we do exercises, specialty visitors, nutrition, uh, different variety of activities uh, to keep them engaged mentally and physically. Uh, we have a wonderful time with the program and in addition to all the activities and uh, we try to do small special events like celebrating Mother's Day and Father's Day coming up. Uh, we do have an extensive wait list, but if you are interested, please reach out to one of the program coordinators at Arlington Mill, Walter Reed, or Langston, and we can get you on the wait list and provide more information. Thank you. Oh, great. Well, th um, again, thank you so much to everybody over at Langston for, uh, for letting us uh, get our cameras in there for a little sneak peek. Uh, as uh, Cindy mentioned in the video, there is of course a wait list. Uh, we're only open to very limited capacity uh, to, for, for people to join. But if you're interested in this program, you think it would benefit you, we do have uh, a wait list available. People are, uh, you can call one of the programmers uh, and they'll take your name and information. And hopefully when we start opening things up more later this year, uh, we'll be able to get folks in. So really looking forward to that as well. Yes, such yeah. a great program. Yeah. So. Um, yes, and so next we have our front yard interview with Elizabeth. Yep. And she is going to be interviewing um, Catherine Tingley, uh, who participates in our seated exercise program. Take it away, Elizabeth. Hi, and welcome to another segment of Front Yard Interviews. It's National Fitness Month, and I'm here with Kathy Tingley, a 55-plus member who participates in one of our fitness classes. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, Elizabeth. Nice <laughs> to see you. So uh, can you tell me about the class you participate in? Well, uh, at the moment, I'm participating in an outdoor seated exercise class over at the Madison Center uh, run by Jill Kern. And uh, it's an absolutely wonderful class. I think we have about 25 or 26 people, and we're all well distanced and masked when we're gossiping and chatting with each other, but unmasked when we're exercising. Oh, okay. And uh, the class is um, uh, an hour long and uh, a wonderful, wonderful combination of cardio, um, strength, stretching, and so forth. Uh, with very kind of lively, uplifting music that she plays for us. And uh, it's thoroughly enjoyable. And, of course, having lived here for so many years, I know a lot of people in the class already. So, so how long have you taken the class? This is about my third time, I think. Third session? Third okay. session. And I understand that starting in June, we'll be moving up to twice a week instead of once a week. Well, that's great. Which mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to. And starting earlier, so it won't be too hot. Uh -huh. Of course, and we're all wondering if, if we're going to be, you know, brushing the cicadas off our shoulders <laughs> at the next <laughs> class. <laughs> Can you tell us uh, the benefits of this, you know, regular exercise? It's, um, well, first of all, it gets me out of the house. And uh, there's a certain discipline about, you know, having to be at a certain place at a certain time, which some of us don't have that much anymore. <laughs> and um, it's very, I find it very invigorating to be doing it outdoors rather than indoors. And I'm not a person for um, Zoom exercise classes or online exercise classes. I mean, I have to be out there actually doing it out, you know, in the open type uh -huh. thing. So. But um, 
But I, when I come home, I just feel, I feel wonderful. Every part of my body has been stretched and moved and worked, and, <laughs> and, uh, and it just sets me up for the day. Oh, good. Now, you've participated in another wellness class with us. Can you tell us about that? I did. That? Yes. I, they had a, a wonderful class called SAIL, which I believe stands for Stay Alive and Independent or something, something like that. Anyway, uh, which I, uh, was um, uh, put together by Marymount University and um, has been a wonderful program. That is an indoor program. But, um, and that was a fall prevention. That was a fall, pre yes, yes. Uh, that was the whole yeah. thing behind it was fall prevention. And uh, they taught us so much about how to prevent a fall, what to do if you feel, you know, that you're absolutely going to fall. Had the most important thing, obviously, is to protect your head, even if you break your hands in the mm -hmm. process. But, mm -hmm. but um, that was a wonderful class, and they uh, just so well thought out. And again, the instructor, Beverly, was just and was just outstanding. I mean, I have not run into anything but wonderful instructors there who are so patient with all, you know, the old folks. <laughs> and uh, there's always the emphasis um, in these classes, if it hurts, don't do it. If, it's, uh, if you only feel comfortable doing it sitting down, do it that way. If you can't do it at all, don't even try. And with my husband who passed away, who was taking the sale class, they were infinitely patient with him because he really could do so little at that stage. But, but he tried. But um, just, just delightful people to work with. So. so would you say that regular exercise has helped you through this oh pandemic? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Otherwise, you know, if you, you can't sit all day, you have to get out and do something. Otherwise, everything atrophies and <laughs> before you know it. <laughs> but and then um, previous to that, um, uh, we uh, Fred and I took we used to go up to the gym to I think his name is Ron. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he was wonderful, too. The fitness we, instructor, the fitness instructor. Yes. And we would go up and have little sessions with him. But uh, but then we uh, then we moved to, to the other classes uh -huh. instead. So. Uh -huh. And the other thing I do up there, in which is not really well, it's exercising my mind, I guess, <laughs> is I like to play Scrabble. So. <laughs> and I miss that terribly. So, yeah. hoping it'll come back at some stage. But well, uh, but apart from that, I go for long walks around the neighborhood every day. Um, Rain or shine, snow or not ice, but snow. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Kathy, for You're joining welcome. us I, today. I, yeah, and I, I tell all my friends about it. So, uh, you know, people are anxious for things to open up again. And, yeah. and, and of course, as I said to my friends, getting into one of these classes is like getting into Harvard <laughs> because uh, <laughs> so many people want to be in there that if you don't call on registration day by 9 o'clock, forget it, you know. So, <laughs> so I always have it on my yeah. calendar, too. Well, good. Make well, sure. good. Well, thank you, Kathy. And if you're looking to fit fitness in your life, check out our 55 plus summer guide. We have lots of options there. So make sure to make time to be fit. And they say motion is the lotion. Now back to you, Nick and Leela. All right. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Uh, thank you, Catherine, uh, for that wonderful interview. Uh, nice to see you guys again. And, uh, and yeah, we're back, and we're going to wrap it up with our favorite uh, last segment, which is Top 5, and we're talking about... Top 5! We're talking about um, all of, well, not all, but our 55-plus members' favorite ways to exercise. Um, so since we are celebrating National Physical Fitness Month, um, we just, yeah, again, just want to emphasize the importance of exercise and fitness um, and just the variety of ways that you can get exercise in. Um, and we hope, our, you know, that our 55 plus programs really, really help you guys with, um, you know, with different options. So, um, again, we sent out the survey and let me just bring this up really quickly. We have our top five favorite ways to get exercise. And this is in order um, because we had a lot of people respond to this survey. Yay, thank you so much. And, um, and there was definitely uh, numbers one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, nice. So we had a good, good turnout for this yes. one. Yeah, great. Yes, we did. Awesome. So number, number five. five. 
Water aerobics. Um, water aerobics hit home, close to home for me. Uh, believe it or not, I was a lifeguard for like many years. Really? And I also helped with water aerobics. So much fun, such a nice way to get out and do exercise in like a very different way. Yes. Um, yes, with like, I think the best part of water exercise is the low impact to your joints. Yes. Right? Right. Um, and uh, uh, the classes are fun. Uh, the music usually, it's like dancing and you're weightless a little bit as well, so. Right, and it does. Very cool. It does look kind of difficult. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not easy. Like, like you get in, in there and you think it's going to be like you're just splashing around. But I mean, <laughs> they, they, the people in the class like work out. It is mm -hmm. incredible some of the stuff they do. So mm -hmm. uh, lots of fun. Definitely. Be sure to check that out. We've got the, the link right here for, for, uh, well, for water aerobics. Yes. Okay. Number four. Ooh, tai Chi. Tai Chi yes. This is just, I mean, I think becoming more and more popular. Um, especially with 55 plus members in Arlington. So um, this is a picture of the Tai Chi practice in the, or Tai Chi in the park at Virginia Highlands Park. Um, lots of people that um, enjoy it. And if you are, you know, nervous about trying Tai Chi, I've never seen Tai Chi until, um, you know, until we started having classes in, in our center. And um, it's very just, very yeah. zen, very easy to follow, but yeah. really works on balance and. Mm -hmm. not, lots um, of benefits, right? Not just uh, exercise, but right. like range of motion and like very like peaceful and like right. for, it's good for your mental health as yes. well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, and we, we put in here um, just to show you in our new uh, 55 plus guide, um, our offerings for Tai Chi. There's there's just so many. Lots um, of different classes, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you've got a lot of options here. And again, if you want to try something new, this is a great a great one to try. Great. Okay. Next on uh, number three, we have exercise classes, which are always a fan favorite uh, in the 55 plus program. Uh, as you can flip through our guide, uh, you see we have seated exercise, total body fitness, Zumba, Kukua, all sorts of different uh, variations of exercise classes, different levels, whatever you're looking for, we tend to have a taste of it uh, as well. So uh, lots of different classes for the summer. So make sure you're checking those out. Right, and just, you saw the seated exercise interview with Catherine. Um, I, I uh, actually subbed for that class last hmm. week, and, um, and Jill Kern was just great. I mean, it's oh, just yeah. fantastic. And, you know, at Madison, everyone's spread out, mm -hmm. and it's just a good workout. I did it with them, yeah. and it oh, was, yeah. and they all had weights and rubber bands. I had nothing, and I, <laughs> I was like... I was like, ooh, yeah. I can feel this. Yeah. <laughs> so. You know, I filmed some of the classes uh, on, for the YouTube channel. Yes. And like when I was like editing them together, I would like do the classes. I was yeah. like, man, this is a workout. <laughs> but I'm also like, I really like this. I'm like gonna go back to this. So Yeah, and they have yeah. good music. All of, I mean that one that one has a good playlist. Yes. <laughs> so um, so lots yeah. of options for exercise classes. Uh, number two is line dance yes. or just dance. Some people just uh, yeah. put dance, um, but a lot of people mostly put line dance. Um, so again, we are offering a line dance class um, at Virginia Highlands um, for the summer and just such a great group, great group of, of people. Um, they just have so much fun. Yeah, I always, uh, always a large turnout for those classes and mm -hmm. uh, they are just a fun group of people for sure. You hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Uh, so for our last one, number our one. Our last one, number one. Walking. Yes. Of course. I yeah. know. Um, and this was a lot of people uh, put okay. in walking and a lot of some, some even were like daily walking. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've talked about it before on the show. There, uh, you know, we love to brag uh, and pat ourselves on the back. Arlington County, I think, just has so many great trails and park systems yes. um, that you can access. And there's there's mm -hmm. always like a new area to explore. Uh, and what a great way to explore them with a group of awesome people for our walking groups. As well. Right. Yeah. Right. And again, we have listed here our our, um, our under walking and biking in the guide. Yep. We have our walks, um, and you know. Pictures of fast forwards, and then uh, uh, the walking group that uh, they they uh, recently went to the um, Theodore Roosevelt Island. Yeah, um, have you been there? That's no. Another great place to walk. Is that the um, one that's like uh, it's in the Potomac, right across from Roslyn? Yes. 
yeah. right across from Roslyn, and you I've can see Georgetown to from it. It's, yeah. it's just a really nice, again, it's yeah. like you're in the middle of a city, and nice. it's you feel like you're... You're like in a forest. Yeah, That's and so cool. surrounded by water. It's just huh. really beautiful. Awesome. So yes, those are our top five, yeah. and hopefully, um, hopefully, those of you who want to try something new, uh, you know, we've got again a lot of offerings. But I mean, just this area in general, and yeah. just the every, all the offerings online, yeah. not just with Arlington County, but just you know, lots of ways to get your exercise in. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what a great list. Thanks again for everybody who submitted. And uh, again, we always like to encourage you to fill out our survey uh, for future top five episodes. Uh, and uh, without further ado, uh, yeah. get out there and enjoy some of this beautiful weather that we're having. And the cicadas. And the, Oh, yes, the cicadas. <laughs> Avoid the cicadas. <laughs> so. Enjoy them, too. Yeah. <laughs> While you can. Uh, all right. Well, thanks, <laughs> thanks again for sticking around and giving us a watch. We'll see you next time. Our next show is on June, June. 1st. June 1st. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.